here we are going to talk about the training training requirement in the corporate world there is a say by one of the top boxing player i hated every minutes of training but i said don't quit suffer now and live rest of your life as a champion it is said by none other than mohammad ali nobody can start playing cricket or football professionally only by reading books or uh, you can say by watching televisions if you want to be a professional you need to be trained you need to work hard physically as well as mentally you need to be a fit then only you can play a professional league similarly in the sales sales person need to be trained well before they put in the field i have seen that lot of people in the sales straight away you know they had been recruited by the company and straight away they had put it in the field which is very dangerous it is a crime it is a crime it is like you know giving a your car key to the person who doesn't know how to drive company should invest in training this is the investment which is going to give them a good return in future let me share one of my experience very recently you know my wife along with me i had gone to see a fridge because we need to purchase one of the fridge and we had gone to one of the showroom because earlier i had same showroom we had purchased a air condition that is a ac uh, but now when we had gone there we had found out that you know that shop has been shifted to some other place we had gone to that place and uh, as always you know my wife is uh, inquired a lot she was not convinced you know why this shop has been shifted from that place to this place so once we checked in she inquired one of the sales guy you know why you people have shifted from there to here the sales guy i don't know that poor fellow was not aware of it he said you know we have shifted because this is a good place But my wife not convinced she said to me that earlier place was far better than this then why these people have shifted here now they she started thinking that you know probably this store is going in losses therefore they have shifted from that nice place to this place now she is started doubting on the product qualities now since the owner of the store is not financially good so probably the product will also will not be a good she told me that you know we will not purchase anything from this store now there is one sales manager in the corner you know they were he, he is the one who was seeing us you know he just barged in and he told uh, asked my wife and me that you know what you wanted what, what you wanted to purchase i told him that you know we are we want to purchase a fridge my wife again she asked the same question to the sales manager that what is the reason you have shifted from that place to this now the sales manager well trained man he said earlier that place was little congested that was the customer was finding it very difficult to park their vehicles there was no parking facility was available which i agree there was no parking facility was there sales manager said that this is a place where you know you will be having a ample parking place which i also agree because there is a lot of a parking place was there i saw my wife she saw me and she said yes i think that is the main reason by my surprise my wife said okay let's do let's purchase the fridge from here only now just see the difference what the sales person can effect to the customer earlier that sales guy was not able to give the convincing reply he just casually said that you know we have shifted 
whereas the sales manager has given the reply with the proper in full details so ladies and gentlemen what here i am going to say is that training training is must if that sales guy is been trained very well how to handle the customer what questions customer is going to ask and how to be treated now here not only the quality of the product is important here the quality of a p person who is selling the product that is also important that is the reason why i always say that training training is must for all the sales guy before they put in the sales field today here i am going to talk about the service everybody knows that sales sales is a backbone of any organizations this i agree this everybody agree that sales is a backbone but according to me service also plays a very important role you can't clap with one hand you need two hands to clap to hear the sound of success similarly sales along with sales you need to have a strong customer service support sales will bring the business but it is a customer service who will retain and increase the business sam walton an american businessman very well known as a founder of walmart he had beautifully said about the customer service he said the goal as a company is to have a customer service not just the best but legendary sales will have a zero value sale will have a zero nil value unless and un until it is supported strongly by the customer service in today's world customer service plays very important and crucial role